Hi, right, hello and good day, everybody. Hey, Mike. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Morning. How's how things going, Mike? Good, 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 good. Except it's very tired to sit sit at home. Oh. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, I get. It, I get. It. Well, basically, um, that's what's happening now. So it's kind of ironic and an oxymoron um, to say that uh, this is what they call the new norm, whereby. I mean, norm is a norm, you know, there is no such thing as a new norm and an old norm. Um, I guess life would never go back to normal anymore. I mean, now, I mean, like years ago, we, we don't actually see people going around wearing masks and those kind of things, but nowadays, if you don't wear a mask, well, you know what's going to happen to you. Alright. Yes. Okay, so guys, um, all of that aside, alright, so today we're going to have a very informative session on uh, discussing about um, stocks like we told you previously we are going to have our series coming up um, from time to time and uh, stick with us and we promise you that you'll definitely gain a whole mountain full of uh, knowledge all right and uh, today okay we will be focusing on stocks okay Alright, now you may be thinking, for those of you who are not so familiar with the word stocks, um, <clears throat> in Malaysian and British context, stocks is uh, the American counterpart of um, shares. So it actually means the same thing, alright? I mean, you know Americans, you know British, they just like to identify themselves differently, okay? But anyway, um, today we'll be going in on uh, value growth stocks, alright? So here to enlighten us today is our founder, Mr. Mike Sim. Uh, Mike, uh, can you tell us a little bit more about uh, value growth stocks? I mean, I, I believe the audience here are dying to know what it's all about. Yeah, okay. Value growth stock uh, uh, basically is a stock that uh, is undervalued when you're going to buy it. Basically, uh, there are many, many ways to uh, to determine what is an undervalued stock. All right. So the common, very, very common way to determine it is we call it a PE ratio, a okay, price of earning ratio. Okay. The price of earning ratio basically uh, we are using the current stock price. Okay. Divided by the earning. All right. Okay. So basically, you will get a ratio. So basically, in a broad market term, if let's say the PE is less than 20, we call it as undervalued, alright? So if it's between like 20 to 25, we call it a fair value. So anything more than 25, we call it overvalued, okay? So basically, uh, current stock market scenario here is, okay, uh, value stock tend to be overturned already, okay? Especially in the tech sector, alright? Okay? So, uh, a lot of people will look for the super growth stock, okay, meaning that it's not a value stock anymore, alright. So, in order to understand, okay, what is a value stock here, I think the best way is we look at one stock, which I personally hold it, and, and when it's time go by, I more and more like it in stocks, okay. So, basically, this stock is like, you no need to monitor, basically, okay, and you know to worry about whether this stock will crash or you know going away or what. Okay. So based on my observation, uh, this stock is the worst in the worst time it only pull back around 20 to 30 percent. And where else most of the stock can pull back down to 50 percent or 60 or even 70 percent during the worst time. Okay. But again, the previous you know slide, the uh, previous show we already saying that when the market pull back. When you find a good stock, it's a good time to buy. Again and again, the market will not prove it a wrong one in this uh, type of uh, uh, scenario. When the market pull back, it's a cheap sales and you get the same quality of products. Okay? Right, but again, one. yeah.
the value stocks and what are uh, uh, stocks that are going to invest in. Alright, okay, this is a very very good question. Okay, so basically, before you pick a stock, you must look at the sector or the industry. Alright, the so normal sector, especially a lot of people uh, will think they have a very high growth, they can have a very high PE. Well, no PE at all, meaning that only they have a revenue. Okay, this is normally happen to the internet stock. Okay, currently it's a PE stock. Okay, so that could be a good stock. Okay. And those are fast growing, which usually people consider the sales will grow 10, 20, 30 times per annum. Okay, we're looking about 1,000, 20, uh, 2,000, 3,000. Okay, so this stock basically uh, you can see that there's no PE, you know, because there's no E there. E is earning, remember. Okay, it's a net earning. They only have revenue. Okay, so make it very simple. If you, if you do a business, okay, you are basically need a cost of running the business. Okay. So if there's no profit, okay, so basically you actually are using your cash flow to sustain your business. Alright, so again, you have to look at what actually the company have, whether they got a free cash flow or not. Okay, if let's say they don't have free, free cash flow to sustain the business, that business will be quite dangerous. Okay, because as long as there's no cash to sustain the business, okay, they cannot grow, they cannot operate. Okay, so when this thing happens, it might actually cause a stock crash or maybe uh you know uh, the, uh, i mean the business go down or maybe go bankruptcy okay this has happened to a lot of business which actually is not proven one okay this is we call it a high growth stock okay well today our topic is more value stock but really when you look at value stock most of the stock already reaching a blue chip level okay so a lot of people say okay a penny stock which actually is 50 cents is very, very cheap that is actually a first value Okay, you are basically you are you are not value the stock based on the best best value. It's the same thing. If I ask you to buy a car, okay, a second hand car, okay, ten years ago one, okay, the car is actually worth about ten thousand ringgit. And today, okay, I buy I ask you to buy a new car, okay, worth about forty thousand ringgit. Do you see that the ten years car or the ten years car is? cheaper and better yeah it is cheaper but it is better or not after you buy it it is better or not all right okay it's not better okay even you buy it at a very cheap price but can this car perform or you have to spend a lot of maintenance or maybe you incur a lot of losses all right okay from buying this uh, car it's same thing like stock all right and come in stock when you when you think something is cheap there's no revenue and no profit okay the worst is no revenue at all okay and no profit I mean, concept there's some stock in the market like that they they have a very good marketing strategy to, to promote the stock okay however you look into this sector hey this stock, stock is cheap it's only have 20 cent 30 cent you know if we move up like one cent or two cent i get about 10, 10 to 20 percent return so if you have the kind of mindset to investing you are in a very dangerous zone you maybe can become used that kind of particular stock for trading is meaning that you buy 20 cents, if you go down 2 cents, you cut loss. If you go up 4 cents, you take profit. That one for trading is possible. Okay? But for investing, you want to hold it, you want to build your wealth, okay? It's very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. Okay? Because it's not proven yet. Okay? However, if you look at the company with a huge revenue but no profit yet, and they have a free cash flow okay, to sustain your business. That's good. Okay, at least you take some bullies with them. But you know this company have a billion dollar of revenue already. Okay, why they don't have profit yet? Because they expand their business. Okay, this is normally the American capitalist like to do it. And then before they turn become a giant, they turn to like Google, Apple in the early year. Now today you can see Tesla also. Okay, but Tesla last year only turned to be a profitable company. Okay. So this company actually promised to reduce revenue in the future. They already have a huge revenue, but bigger revenue in the future. So if you buy this company, at least your appreciation rate is very, very high. Okay, if this stock really performs up to what they promise. Okay, but if they can't promise, you can see the stock. So the value stock okay, is something the company has made a lot of profit. Okay, a lot of profit. Okay, 
So basically, when they have profit, only you can see the fee. You can judge whether this is a good stock or not. Okay, a lot of people have promoted okay, some company with a good Alright, okay, because they will be chasing for the growth stock. So today, we're going to introduce you one good stock, which is a value stock. Okay, uh, which I think is value stock, which will be a value stock forever. Alright? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so this is uh, the value stock we're talking about. Okay, the value stock we're talking about today is uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Okay? Or Berkshire Hathaway. Okay, so basically, uh, uh, you guys maybe may not heard about this company before. Okay, because I think it's very, very difficult to pronounce this, this, this company. Okay? However, when you mention about Warren Buffett, okay, I think everybody heard about it. Okay? So, May, Warren Buffett, okay, basically, uh, is a totally a value investor. Okay? So, his principle, basically, I respect a lot. Okay? He once says something, I also respect a lot. Okay? Say, if you look at money, you have an emotion, maybe you have an emotions, you have problem emotions to control your money, you are not going to do well in investment, which I totally correct. Okay, because a lot of people see when one stock is going up, they will chase the stock. They actually have a formal feeling. Okay. So this guy, okay, basically uh it's very difficult for him to buy in one stock. The moment he buy in one stock, he have a lot of convictions. Uh, to support it which actually is on a, a, a value investing side okay so of course if you want to look into the way he actually tried to uh, 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 value the company okay i would say it's very difficult for him to find one good company to invest now okay especially the current particular market scenario all right okay so basically uh this is a uh, uh, why uh, I actually like this company called uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Yeah, I believe that uh, many years ago when I myself first uh, started, okay, um, I didn't see the simplicity in it. Um, it just tend to be a little bit um, abstract and all that. But uh, as time went on, as I continually um, learned and uh, did research to enhance my knowledge and all that, yes, things turned out to be pretty simple to understand. So, yeah, um, true enough, true enough, because the word Berkshire Hathaway is a little bit difficult to pronounce for most people. I mean, um, I mean, if you have read Robert Kiyosaki's book and all that, most likely you come across or you'll be acquainted with the name of Warren Buffett, definitely, okay. Even some people often do with the name uh, Paul Tudor Jones and all that, yes, yes, yes. Um, however, um, the funny thing is, uh, Mike, like when it comes to Berkshire Hathaway, there's another Hathaway that I can think of. You want to make a guess? There's another Hathaway what? I can think of. What is it? It's a person. Uh, it's the ladies, right? Yeah, that's, that's right, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. I, know. Yeah. I forget. I forget her name already. Yeah. So basically, it's a pretty. Uh, it's a pretty. Okay, and it's a pretty famous um, actress. The name is Anne Hathaway. Yes. Can we watch the Oscar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. But um, I don't think she's got any relation to do with Buffett or Berkshire, right? Definitely no. No, right? It's just what a coincidence. I mean, you share the name of the company of. One of the richest men in the world, so it's like, oh, there's got to be something. Okay, all right. Um, so I think I'm, I'm just trying to help you guys to remember this company easier. You know, if you know Anne Hathaway, you already know the word Hathaway, so you just add a Berkshire in front. Okay. Front to make it simple. All right. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, definitely. I mean. Uh, if I knew it from the point that I was born, okay, or maybe my father that knew this for me, or my grandparents knew for me, it's definitely, definitely the company whereby I put all my eggs in. Okay, I know that today you know, people talk about the uh, eggs in one basket, people see five and that. Uh, but I'm just saying for the sake of saying, if I knew about what I had to make, I'll put every egg, every grand, every. Man, 
uh, having said that, this company still is performing today, right? And um, I believe that um, Berkshire Hathaway still maintains its um, its uh, initial principles, its initial um, ethics of business, its uh, business model, and all that um, hasn't changed much. All right. I mean, of course, they have um, acquired uh, many other companies and uh, they have invested in many, many other solid companies, okay? So that is basically part and parcel of the reason why they are growing from year to year. Because the companies that they invested in, okay, um, for those of you who may know or may not know, okay, Apple is a pretty big chunk of their portfolio. So the automation here is this. When Apple increases in value, what does that translate to? It basically means that Berkshire Hathaway increases in value. That basically means that Warren Buffett's net worth bumps up, you know, balloons up. Okay. All right. And um, yeah, maybe you can uh, share with us what is actually the business model of uh, Berkshire. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Peter. All right. Okay. Uh, a lot of people think that uh, Berkshire Hathaway, uh, Berkshire Hathaway actually, uh, or Warren Buffett actually is a, uh, I mean, a uh, stock traders, or, you know, and very good stock traders. This and that. You know, uh, I need to clarify here. Okay. Sometimes actually Warren Buffett don't even buy a single stock in a year or in a two three years time. Okay. So he is more like a very long term. So the business, he is basically invest in a business like what we said earlier, a very solid business. Okay, and sometimes the business can be a very very simple business, very very simple business. Okay, what he can do here is you always say you know the the business must be have an economy more, a very solid business, which grow when the populations of the world will grow. Okay, so one of the biggest I think a uh, business that he invested is Coca-Cola. Okay, so he using Berkshire Hathaway actually as a holding company to uh, what you call it buy the share of Coca-Cola. All right. So basically, as you know that okay, the dividend given by Coca-Cola every year to one Buffett is almost like I think about at least uh, 500 million. Meaning that. Every day, actually, Warren Buffett producing two to three million US dollar minimum for Berkshire Hathaway. So if you are a shareholder of this company, he is actually, and the management of Berkshire Hathaway actually is making about two three million cash. Okay, okay, to the company. Okay, so you just times two million two. 365 days how much you get there is actually one company that he invested which usually get the car with you all right okay so well you can ask whether you are you are you, you this is a good company or not a good company all right okay so basically this is why actually uh, uh, uh make me that uh, you know, when i, I study about virtual way again you have to look at the business they are in, okay. Berkshire Hathaway actually is a conglomerate. Okay, conglomerate meaning that actually they hold a lot, a lot of company share. Okay, and most of the company share they are holding more than five years. Old. Okay, more than three to five years or even forever. Okay, unless something very very big happen to that industry, then they will trim down. Okay, it's just like. I mean, four or five years ago, they actually invested in airline. Okay, so the airline is doing very, very well that time. However, because of very unexpected, even Warren Buffett cannot expect the, uh, expect uh, this, this thing come out COVID nineteen coronavirus strike. Okay, so the travel industry has been slumped. Okay, and during that period of time, actually, uh, they make a decision to cut loss. Okay, so this is like what we said earlier also. You exit based on the fundamental. Okay, because the fundamental for them, they're worried about this thing will prolong. Okay, so this industry may not grow as strong as like they projected. Okay, so 
they exit okay or else they will hold it forever just like coke okay and many others business okay so to understand Berkshire way first of all okay i would like to share a screen with you guys okay so what is inside Berkshire Hathaway okay so basically uh you want to find okay uh how it actually uh Berkshire Hathaway okay uh on here okay you actually is uh, actually it's very, very simple for you to uh, look into uh, why okay it's very easy for you to do research in the u.s plenty of information all right so basically uh if you look at Berkshire Hathaway they have two way of uh, operate your business one is through a poly on company meaning that they own actually basically uh, maybe uh, more than 51 percent or 100 percent okay so these are the company all right some this is not really a latest data okay so uh you, you may check the later data actually in the SEC okay SEC website but uh, I think overall 80% the company is still maintained there. all right okay so basically if you look at this company uh the significant stack meaning that in US okay if you own more than five percent in, in a company you can consider as a significant stack for it for example like Apple okay Coca-Cola Wells Fargo all these actually a company which actually a uh, Berkshire Hathaway earn uh, I mean on a significant stack one and recently actually they own on a lot actually a uh, pharmaceutical company also because of this uh, uh virus thing all right so in another word okay just now i just mentioned coca-cola every day earn you about two three million earn the company about two three million per day on term of dividend so you can see coca-cola is actually just a small portion of the overall company here all right and then you have net jets okay this is a fully uh sub uh, fully on companies okay and the cash machine actually for Warren Buffett, okay, you think uh, actually uh, uh, it's a Coca-Cola or, or Apple, actually it's not really. If you really understand the business, actually it's called Gecko. This is actually basically it's, uh, one of the largest insurance company, general insurance company in US. Okay, so I think uh, they, 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 they have a very significant stack in the general insurance, meaning that a lot of car, okay, uh, are actually using uh, Gecko as a uh, insurance, okay. So Warren Buffett is a very smart fellow. He actually collected a lot of premium from the insurance company and reinvest back it and compound his money. All right. So this is how the way he actually become one of the richest men in the in the world. All right. So basically, you can see if you buy into Berkshire Hathaway, you are buying into all this company. Okay, Dr. Peter, you can see that. Okay, including a pharmaceutical company. Excellent. You know what I mean? And all oh, these company Warren Buffett invested in one have I have a believe they have a PE one mm. meaning that all these company are making money already okay and have a dividend or making money to inject into a Berkshire Hathaway okay so this when you understand wow this is the company you are invested in you have a wow factor right because you don't worry about this company can go under in another 10 to 20 years unless really really big thing happen but as so far the culture everything is fixed already so once you invested in u.s company when the company reaches kind of size okay, you don't really have to worry already it's because of the management will take care and the cultures okay of the company will continue even a lot of people worry about Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger is too old already to handle it. And in fact, actually recently, uh, shareholder meeting, Warren Buffett already appointed, okay, the CEO to take to over already, if something happened to him. So if you look at this kind of culture, okay, so they will maintain years to come, okay? So your money is still working very, very hard for you because you are putting in a month in a company which they invested in those business which actually are working very very hard for them okay again this is not the latest slide okay because some of the uh Southway, united airline they have trimmed down already the stack okay but i would say 80 percent to 90 percent of the stack they are still remain and hold by uh Berkshire Ray. Mike, can i put it in uh, simplistic terms okay 
um, yep. for, for easy understanding of our fellow audience. Um, I believe that um, what's been shown here, been shared here on the screen of uh, wholly owned companies and also uh, companies that they have significant stakes in, and also to factor in the um, what they call yeah, the PE ratio and all that, I believe that if you actually compare this, if you were to actually humanize Berkshire Hathaway, if you were to actually see Berkshire Hathaway as an individual, as a human, um, this would be the work CV of Berkshire Hathaway. Can I say that? Uh, yeah, if you are an employee, you go for the higher, you want to go for, look for a job, okay? So basically, you are the CEO of the CEO of the CEO of the CEO. Right? That's an excellent okay. portfolio. I mean, who would not want to hire you, you know? So in, in, in other contexts, in other words, who would not want to be your partner? Exactly. So basically, when you want to, uh, you know, let's say we, we, we talk about our financial freedom, this and that. Okay. So if you are invested in this company, okay, basically, I would say every year you just take about if your stake is big every year, you just take about two, three percent of the appreciation rate to support your life is more than enough already. And you can keep compounding it because the stock is keep going up. You know what I mean? Okay, so a lot of people think that, some people ask me, you know, hey Mike, you hold it like that, how are you going to, uh, you know, I know, I understand that you are a, a trader and a, a investor, okay. If As an investor, if I hold like this, okay, how, I can actually uh, use the money to benefit to, 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 to run my uh, my operations or to sustain my current lifestyle. Okay, if you really hold this company ten years ago, okay, now uh, we we'll try to look at the chart. We are not really talking about long time ago, okay? We about okay, uh, maybe about we we'll look at it about uh, twenty years ago or ten years ago, okay. We, we are not talking about, again, uh, this company have class A and class B stock. We are not talking about class A stock because it's unlikely for people to own it. Right? Even me, it's too expensive. Okay, But for class B stock, I believe uh, uh, you can actually start with one share. If you don't have uh, uh, enough money, you actually can, uh, I mean, slowly saving and until you have uh, 300 US dollars and you can start to buy one share. Okay, so if you buy every month one share you can see your company grow that 20 years ago from 35 dollars okay to current scenario assume there's no split here okay to 20 dollars to 292 okay so you just imagine every month you just buy one share one share one share one share one share one share okay and then the money actually is work very hard for you so if you have I mean that uh, you have a uh, other income source okay you can let it run and to build your wealth like that okay if let's say you are purely invested but you are a big time investor you actually can just withdraw a bit from your investment to sustain your lifestyle you know okay so this is how it's another way we are talking about why you can using us stock as, as a financial freedom for you okay but again it takes time so, okay it's not one or two days thing it's not about one or two years thing okay so I want to let you know this thing have to at least you have to want to see the impact at least about three to five years time or the longer the better okay especially for this type of company okay I mean, let's let's put it this way um, we don't rush good things all right I mean here in the Malaysian context in the Malaysian scenario okay um, <clears throat> excuse me I believe that uh, if not everyone then probably over 90 or 95 percent of the population would know the name um, Genting. All right. Now I'm not talking about Busa Malaysia or stocks and all that. I'm just uh, illustrating here. I believe that the majority of people would know that the owner of Genting would be um, the late Mr. Lim Wotong. Okay. So he did not amass his fortune. He did not uh, build his portfolio overnight. He built his portfolio over a lifetime. Yeah, um, basically from what I understand, I mean he's been working since his uh, early childhood days from the age of what 13 or 14 years old or even, I mean um, that gentleman never retired, you know, 
I mean, he's, he's got all the money that he needs and all that, but then again, he chose to not retire, he chose to stay active in his company, um, in society, community and all that. But uh, what I'm trying to say here is that good things take time to grow, okay? Now, in the case of Gunting, you know, it took, it took him um, his whole lifetime, alright? But the bright side of uh, what we are doing over here is this, okay? You do not have to take a whole lifetime to grow your portfolio to reach your financial freedom, okay? So, as always, um, financial independence, financial freedom is different for every person. Some people can achieve it with, uh, some people, I mean, you know, for them, financial freedom, financial independence is basically a 100k. For some people, it's half a meal. For some people, it's a meal. For some people, it's 10. For some people, it's 100. So depending on where you are, okay, depending on um, your capital that you invest in regularly on a regular basis, I'm not talking about a one lump sum or what, so you basically can gauge um, what is the time frame for your financial freedom. And it definitely doesn't take you a lifetime to actually get there. So this is the this is basically the bright side of things. So when over here when we say that it takes time, okay, I understand for those of you out there who really want a shift and a change of your lifestyle, you want it to change like you know, just like that. But this is life. This is not another Marvel movie, okay? And for your information, Marvel movie is actually inspired by real life, alright? Now that is for another video, not for this video, okay? But for your life to actually change, okay, this is where it really changes, alright? A one-year change, a three-year change, a five-year change, okay? And when you look back, when you actually document your life or you actually... I'm not too sure if you guys nowadays still keep a journal or a diary and all that, you know? You can actually start writing your diary or journal now and then look back at it a year later, three years, you know, that kind of thing. And you will see. Yes, with the financial market, I changed my life. Correct, Mike? Uh, I, yeah, I totally agree what what you say. Okay, uh, again, okay, uh, if you really, uh, you know, want to start to invest securely and for the long term, okay, uh, value investing, okay, as I say, you can keep buying this stock if you don't have a big amount to start with. Okay, but again, you have to be very, very patient to look at the things, okay, in a long-term basis. All right. Okay, let me show you why you have to be very, very patient in the last 20 years before the Class B stock, okay, grow from $27 to 292 All right. Okay. It's very simple. Okay, guys, you guys actually can use in Google. Yahoo Finance, Market Wash, you name it, plenty of it, CNBC, you know, okay, to, 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 to see this, how it, this stock grow, okay. So basically, if you look at, in five years time, five years ago, you invested with $141, today the stock is not bad, almost double, okay. But along this way, it is go up straight line or not, Peter? No. Not. exactly okay because the market sentiment every day is changing because i'm a trader also okay as well as investor okay so i know that okay you are actually when you buy a stock okay you are actually if you want to play a long-term game you are like playing a chess you must maintain your king you know okay you know you are when you play a chess if your king is die, you are checkmate already in the long term. Alright? Okay? So basically, I would say the king actually is basically like Warren Buffett stock. Okay? For a long term value investor, which we always say in the, uh, Wall Street, there's a very funny terms, you know, when they want to uh, so called like compete each other, the trader. Okay? So who actually is the last man stand? The last man stand actually is not in Wall Street. The last man stand actually is in Omaha, if you can see. All right. Okay. The last man stand actually the HQ is in Omaha, Nebraska. Okay. So who, those who actually understand where is Omaha and Nebraska, it's actually a very small town. You know, when I was in Chicago, I want to go there even 
Chicago is very nearby there already. Also take about, uh, you know, have to transit, uh, I think a flight, or you have to drive at least about uh, 10 to 20 hours, uh, you're not mistaken. Okay, it's very, very long actually. But that is actually Chicago, which is actually the biggest town uh, where uh, you can actually uh, 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 land there and, you know, and transit to, to, to the smaller town. Okay. So why actually Warren Buffett actually from Wall Street shift back to uh, Omaha is because he don't like to listen to the noise. Okay, because in Wall Street, every day is a noise one. Okay, the market noise, every day is a noise one. So I give you an example, okay, in this five years time, okay, if you are timing, you try to time the market, you go in, like, you go in on 21st of February 2020 at 229. Okay, so the moment you're going in, the stock go down to 170 because certain thing happen, you know, maybe... Uh, I think during this period of time is coronavirus, uh. okay? So, in fact, actually, if your timing is not so good, okay, you're going around this period before the whole thing go down. You're supposed to be buy it, one, but a lot of people are scared to buy it, okay? So, you sell it, let's say, for example, you panic, you know, you say, are you, you know, I heard somebody say, but Joe Way is so good, uh. Why? Uh, this is happened to actually not only Berkshire Hathaway, it happened to Starbucks, it happened to Apple. The whole market go down, slam down is because of the fear. Okay? Because of the Wall Street. <laughs> okay? Because of the Wall Street people are selling like crazy. Okay? They're not looking at the business. Because Wall Street people, they, they, they make money through trading. Okay? So when the fear is coming, okay, they're worried, they will start keep selling. Okay? So all the all people are start fear and start to sell okay you just imagine okay you are thinking of whoa i heard somebody say virtual away is very good starbucks is very good i'm i'm making i'm losing money now you know okay so in a in a in a january you're buying in okay and in march right the worst case are you because of fear noise all these things okay you maybe you cut loss you say i don't think i want to hold it anymore you know is it or not? so you cut loss well i just let you know okay it actually take less than six months to then come back and now it's going up because people start to discover the value of it. you know what i mean so basically uh if you are an investment or look at investment side why i'm saying that okay uh, i'm more and more like virtual away is because i mean in my investment portfolio okay it's because this stock you don't no need to worry about the market noise one. You know one day it will go up. When you invest in watch uh, blue chip, it is like that. And normally this thing will turn around very, very fast. I will say fast year is maybe like six months, nine months, it will come. But you think that six months or nine months or so you cannot stand? I just say, you know, maybe stock market is not for you. Okay, you can go to casino, okay? Which is and highly not recommended. It's highly not recommended. Exactly. You see, or you can become, you try to become a super trader, this and that, you know. Uh, I would say very, very tough because like I say already, okay, most of you don't have time. If you guys have time, you have money, today you won't look at this already. Or maybe you look at this just for the entertainment already. Okay. So this is very important when you want to uh, invest, okay, you have to look at the long term and accumulate your wealth. Okay. So, if you started invested 10 years ago, just like, you know, okay, you really, uh, this is really a five years one, okay? So, you look at it, uh, five years, okay, five years ago, you keep investing, keep investing, keep investing, just buying this, okay, good stock. This is, I would call it, not only good, I would call it, it's the best stock in the market, okay? A lot of people will say, oh, Mike, you know that, uh, I buy some growth stock, uh, wow, from... Uh, ten dollars now become a hundred dollars this and that, that, that yeah plenty of it okay but if you look at the fundamental point of view okay other stock are as solid as this or not this is a proven history proven solid i myself also i have portfolio in my growth uh, growth stock in my super growth stock in my portfolio okay which actually i entered it quite early you know okay so basically but the price fluctuate it's very very big it's not like but sure you look at it okay the price from 229 go down to around 170 you think this is very big already let me tell you okay 
some of the stock okay grow stock i take it one of the example grow stock okay if, if you cannot see berkshire headway fluctuate okay you when you look at uh this stock is conio okay yeah you are very excited in this period of time definitely because the same thing got, uh, uh, happened to me i'm actually going in new around 25 dollars and i ride all the way you know to here okay but you can see that from the top 61 dollar and it can go down almost 50 percent if you compare to virtual blue chips stock you know okay so why because this stock this stock definitely promised a very good futures okay however this stock if you look at the PE ratio I don't think they have a PE ratio yet okay you know what I mean okay the risk is there so you actually can have a small portion of this portfolio okay inside your investment okay so I'm actually reduce the stack in this stock okay, and put it into a Berkshire Hathaway okay okay so basically uh because i of course that portfolio basically is used for investment okay so basically if this stock go down again i may buy it okay because it's good to buy something that is cheaper rather than you buy actually is more expensive right? in, uh, in a, a more expensive but in berkshire headway it's different okay you know the business no matter how will grow steady and surely slowly and steady okay so that is the reason why i say if you are new and you are very scared of look at the stock price go down this and that one this stock promise you a bet this, this stock will give you not promise i would say will give you because this stock has been proven since 1970 Oh, I haven't born yet. Peter haven't born yet. Until now. Okay, when you look at the maximum, okay, because class B only they started in 1995 when a lot of people cannot afford to buy class A. And Warren Buffett have no choice to come out of class B stock for a normal retail investor to buy in. Mike, and since you mentioned the year 1970 and all that, okay, um, for those of you, okay, who will be most likely will be calling um, more in the uh, more senior group you get more senior age group for those of you who actually have a chance to invest into Berkshire Hathaway that would be class A since the 1970s okay or if any of you outside there who are watching this video now okay you actually know anyone who has invested in Berkshire class A 70 and in the in the 1970s Take the opportunity to talk with them okay when you talk with them you will definitely have zero doubt about berkshire hathaway all right now basically i mean a lot of us here in this part of the world okay we have a very strong tendency to do this i uh wasted la. should have gone in and should have went in didn't do anything only watch i uh, now the thing goes sky high already what to do now can chase some more uh? how you ask this sifu, you ask that guru, you ask that teacher, you ask that coach, you ask everybody. If you have Anthony Robbins phone, I believe that you will give him a call to the US and you will ask him also, okay? But let's put it this way. The best time to plant a tree, okay? For some of you, it can be a durian tree. For some of you, it can be a coconut tree. For some of you, it can be palm oil. It doesn't matter what tree, okay? The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, okay? Second best time is when? right now so if you don't plant your tree now meaning to say that if you don't pick your company now you don't pick your stock now 20 years later you are going to go into this symptom of aya do you want to aya for life not me definitely not me all right and um, after this you guys can actually make a cross comparison for those of you who have I don't know nowadays people have two monitor screens three four even five monitor screens you can actually put the graph of berkshire hathaway class a on one screen and you put class b on another screen all right you can 
actually make a comparison of it from year to year okay i'm not i'm not talking about the exact year i'm talking from the year that it started for class a and class b it's not the same but you can see a very significant similarity here all right now if you can see class a as it is today okay now i'm not giving you a prediction okay i'm not a soothsayer all right i'm not somebody who tells you the future okay but if you can see that pattern then you would understand why class b is something this is in my opinion all right i'm not talking this for anybody else this is just in my opinion this would be something that everybody needs to take a look into okay and um people like to ask you know what is the best stocks what is the best etf you know what is the best index the best is what works for you okay but what we are showing you here is this is what we consider to be and if there was ever such thing called an everlasting company this is it this is what we consider to be in the category of an everlasting company okay now an everlasting company yes they have it doesn't go up in a straight line okay there will be dips okay there will be spikes okay there will be sideways okay and that will be all of it okay but from the point of where it started to the point where it is today that is how you see that that company okay if you ride with it you're gonna have a significant change in your life yep. yeah totally right okay dr peter all right okay so it's not too late for you to buy virtual highway okay i just bought it actually a years ago and i keep accumulating it okay okay because of uh, this is actually in my investment portfolio okay i will quite a long-term investment portfolio okay a last man standing portfolio okay which actually i won't sell it okay uh, i believe uh, this company will survive another 20 years even warren buffett is normal here charlie munger is normal here okay because i understand the u.s cultures or type of a business okay they are not like asian type when the powder is gone okay the business is not sustainable here okay but u.s company when the culture is there the you know we will actually keep continuing maybe even do even better right something like coca-cola okay you look at it okay long ago already it's still there all right okay so this is uh, why uh, if you want to uh, buy it, okay, but uh, you have to compare all the, like, uh, the revenue and everything, you can do it yourself and by take a look what is the profit, the current profit, this and that, okay. But as I told you already, okay, uh, this company, if technically you look at the revenue, okay, uh, in 2020 is 245 billion. Okay, that is actually equivalent to the GDP of Malaysia, more than that. Okay, and more than a country GDP. Okay, there are, this type of revenue actually is much, much higher than a lot of country GDP. You are actually, indirectly, you are buying um, something that is better than a lot of countries' uh, businesses whole country business okay so this is a humongous okay and again they are making profit and then you really want to look at the financial statement okay you you know how much cash they are in hand okay because everybody know cash is a lifeblood in a business okay you look at the earning per share how much is it okay and if you try to look at the financial part you can go to this part okay and you look at the revenues okay top, okay now actually it's increasing just now we are talking about 200 now actually it's almost like 365 see 365 billion liter meaning that one day they have a revenue of 1 billion you think this company will go wrong any times in five to ten years time with the whole the subsidiary that we have discussed you know and what? they are the I, actually I, I, they on they on apple actually <laughs> okay so the net income is almost like 100 billion 
okay you know what i mean okay so basically this company if you want to sleep well don't want for your long term uh, portfolio okay okay because i don't want to talk about uh swing trading i want i don't know i don't want to talking about uh what you call it uh, you know day trading i don't want to talk about momentum trading okay all these things because i myself is a trader but even as a trader i respect this company i respect warren buffett a lot i believe this company when i invested in i no need to look at it this portfolio i have six portfolio overall okay six to add in a second okay so this portfolio i just put aside i seldom seldom trade okay i seldom memang what i mean uh, even i think a uh, one month sometimes even not even one trade sometimes two three months to do one trade you know what i mean okay because this is the portfolio actually basically uh keep growing okay of course they will be up and down up and down in the short term period like one week one month okay but in the one year period okay i almost have about it's not even one week uh one year yet okay it's uh about nine months my return is almost about 100 okay and i keep actually uh one of my long term portfolio now actually berkshire will actually become my biggest holding in my investment portfolio which actually is about 20 to 30 percent okay and we followed by apple okay because all this long term and i have some growth stock there but it's, it's very very small portion only. because i know those figures will fluctuate down and up not constant in a in, in as, as like uh in a virtual head away okay so again uh if you are looking for long term last man standing be a king okay and uh, uh want to uh, build your your wealth in the 10 to 20 years from now i have no, no i have nothing to i mean uh, to, to to tell you already you look at these figures you know already yourself one day the company actually is uh, making one billion okay you know one day is one billion okay and their net profit is about 100 billion okay so peter i i, don't, I think I don't, I don't need to explain more about this i think we have basically already covered the uh, valuation and also future growth of uh, berkshire hathaway and uh, as always you know people would like to ask uh, what is the risk okay i mean um let's put it simple terms the only risk that i see over here okay is only one is uh what is your extent of your patience and what is your time frame that is the only risk that i can see for anyone that goes in with uh, berkshire hathaway so this is a company that literally when you enter into a position or 10 or 100 or maybe even a, a thousand you know positions here literally you sleep well at night you don't have to worry about it okay if you have a day job just do your job okay and whatever that you have invested here in Berkshire Hathaway, it will grow on its own without you having to intervene, okay? So that is the beauty of it. I, I don't see any other um, risk factors with Berkshire Hathaway. Um, do you think there's any other risk with Berkshire Hathaway, Mike? A lot of people, you know, a bit skeptical, you know, they know, they, they were saying that, okay, or, you know, Warren Buffett is already about 89 years old, Charlie Munger is about 92 years old, you know. So basically, uh, of course, uh, Warren Buffett, to be very frank, uh, I would say a lot of uh, investment in uh, Berkshire where he already assigned to his capable management team already. You can study your own, okay? So the way he chose the management team, I believe uh, he know, okay? If you really look at what how Warren Buffett chose people, he said you need three criteria, okay? Number one, you have to be uh, uh, very energetic okay energetic meaning that you're full of energy all right number two you have to be extremely smart okay meaning that you are smart okay you know you know what to do and uh, then and number three he say the guy have to be a very honest guy and he said something very good he said we are number three number one and number two is useless you know what i mean Okay, so this is actually his principle to choose his successor, his management. Okay, so I believe 
Okay, God's successor that he chose will carry his principle of uh, investing. Okay, and also I also believe that okay, uh, in a way the company that by buying you have to know that Berkshire Hathaway actually is a conglomerate. Okay, so those principle already laid down in Berkshire Hathaway culture, they will use that principle to buy acquire the substantial stack in other companies also. Okay, so even one Buffett is normal here. Okay, I believe he still at least have a 10 years life span. Okay, so even if it's no more here already, I believe that, okay, Berkshire Hathaway will still keep continue growing, just like what Coca-Cola did. Okay, because this is a principle that he already laid down in the company. And in US, okay, when things have already laid down in the company, you can't change it. Because shareholders are the biggest state. Okay, and the management, of course, definitely, those are choose by Warren Buffett one well okay follow his principle of running the company okay so uh this is why like what peter said is true when you buy this company you don't need to look at the chart or whatever you just keep continue buying it okay when you have extra money okay and five years from now you just look at it your account don't look at the five days don't look at the five months okay or you know you can access it maybe a one year two years because we never know the the, the the price maybe tomorrow will go down or whatever this is very, very obvious one in, in, in trading i am a trader i understand that okay but there is some trading which a lot of people don't have time a lot of skill and skill also to do that but for investing is simple but not easy and because today we are actually are talking about virtual way again i like to uh Take another scenario. What actually uh, Warren Buffett replied when the biggest, the, the the richest man in the world asked him, just uh, Jeff Bezos asked him. Uh, it seems like your way of investing is too simple, you know. But why everybody cannot follow it? Peter, I, I believe you know the answer, right? Okay. Warren Buffett actually sometimes is a very sarcastic, uh, old fellow, you know. Or uncle, we call it. Okay. He said actually, yeah, huh? yeah. He say what? He say actually, no one actually is keen to become rich in the long term basis. Everybody want to become rich, huh? in one or two year time, or in one or two days time, or in one or two months time. Which I totally, totally agree. This happened to me in, in my early time, early days of investing and trading. Thanks to fast yeah. food. Yes, exactly. Okay. But as times go by, I do understand that okay, investing okay is a marathon. Okay? It's the marathon. Okay. I'm not talking about trading here, but as a trader, okay, it's actually a sprinter. Okay? So you want to learn how to trade and investing at the same time to take very very long it's not easy because i study psychology i know that okay okay because why because our mindset is more like a dr jacob and mr hype when it come to investing and trading you see or not so a lot of people say if you really want that i can share with you okay you actually can uh, be our m co user okay as time go by follow in our group i can share with you how you can become a trader how to become an investor but today i just want to focus about investing because i believe that a lot of people don't have times okay a lot to trade okay a lot of people are um, uh, i mean they want to look for another source of income five years ten years maybe a retirement fund or anything to grow up their wealth so if you really want to do that this is the best stock okay. don't say it's not it's very expensive again i tell you already this is the cheapest stock in term of value in term of value don't buy something that is show you the tech line is very very cheap but you don't get any value out of it okay okay you you understand what i mean right okay we already do the illustration in the very early okay you buy a broken car 10 years ago one okay with maybe about five thousand ringgit ten thousand ringgit you take time to fix it okay give you a lot of headache 
this and that. Okay, so is that the value you get? The bad you don't get value at all. You yeah, know, but you buy a new car. I don't. I'm not mentioning about car because car is a depreciation. I just want to co do a comparison between value investing. What is called value investing? What actually give you more value? You know? Okay. So another thing also the same thing when you go into the supermarket there. Okay, you want to buy something that is you think that is very expensive, very good to feel good after you're using it. Okay. For example, I branded goods. Okay. But it's the same thing. Okay, you buy another thing which actually give you more value. Okay. So again, when you value a stock, don't look at the price tag. Unless you are a trader, which you come in and come come out and come in very fast. In one day, one week, one month, or even uh, six to three to six months. If you are not that kind of category person, okay, you are thinking of accumulate your wealth in three to five years time, five to ten years time, and you don't have time to do research this and that, and you worry this and that and that, okay, this is the right stock for you. This is the right stock for you, okay, and it is very cheap because this is undervalued. Don't look at the price tag, okay. This is what I mean here is uh, uh, cheap here, okay. Cheap is meaning that it's undervalued here, it's not the price tag, okay, doctor. Peter, yeah, uh, so guys, you know, I'm if you if you recall, okay, Berkshire Hathaway class A back in 1970s, 1980s, it wasn't. It wasn't four hundred thousand USD. It wasn't okay. Back then, it was only two digit, a uh, one digit stock. But that was 1970, 1980. and today, after twenty twenty, one stock is four hundred k. All right. So depending on which country you are from, you can convert into your local currency, and you will know that wow, something from. Uh, two-digit value actually grew to 400,000 per stocks all right and basically this is the same mother company okay it's basically uh, the biggest sibling of class B all right under the same leadership okay Warren Buffett okay now I mean for those of you who are concerned with um, change of um, leadership you know passing of the baton some people call it passing of the baton and all that okay let me give you some real life example okay i believe that most people would know apple okay and um, a lot of you would know that uh, currently apple is no longer under the leadership of uh, steve jobs neither is it under the leadership of uh, steve Wozniak, okay but apple has already systemized itself okay and even as of today as we speak even under the leadership of a uh, team cook Apple is performing better than ever. You know, with the time when um, Jobs was passing over leadership to Tim Cook, you know, everybody was like, ah, you know, um, that could be the end of the era Apple and those kind of things. But um, hey, history shows who is right, okay, and who isn't. And also, that is only one example. I mean, that's an example of a person who has already, um, you know, left us, okay. Um, Another example, okay, Amazon, alright, I believe by now everyone will know uh, who Mr. Jeff Bezos is, okay, so Jeff Bezos, uh, in, in his own context, okay, in his own words, he has been working for many, many years already, okay, and uh, he also planned to semi-retire in, in the sense whereby he too is going to pass over the leadership of Amazon to his next chosen CEO okay to have more time to focus on his other projects all right for those of you who know you know for those of you who do not know um, well basically Jeff Bezos uh, dabbles in many other futuristic endeavors okay and uh, he doesn't have any worry about passing on the baton to his uh, next CEO okay after managing Amazon for so many decades of his own life all right same thing also um, applies to Tesla and all that okay so um, we are coming to an end for our session okay 
But uh, before we actually come to an end for our session, okay, now, I believe that uh, a lot of you have gotten tremendous, fantastic value from our sharing today, okay, and also before we leave you for, for the day, alright, we would like to share with you why, why is it, okay, what is the key reason, alright, that you should be choosing M-Trade Gold, okay, over the many many options that um, you have um, now nowadays we're going to tell you what differentiates us from everyone else okay now take note i did not say that we are better i did not say that we are the best okay but we have something special all right that differentiates us from everyone else okay now i'm going to let uh, mike share that with you what is the unique point that makes us so different, so unique and so special from the other options that you may have out there. Mike, please. Yeah, guys, uh, a lot of people actually, uh, uh, when uh, they want to uh, buy stocks, they will choose a platform. Okay, like Dr. Peter say, you know, we don't want to claim we are the best or this and that. But when you're using Mtrego number one, okay, a lot of people will ask whether my money is safe or not. Okay, I have to let you know, okay, M-Trade Gold is owned by MSR Capitals and M-Trade Gold, which actually one is a fintech company, another one actually is a licensed okay, company, okay. So basically, one thing here you, you need to uh, really assure that here is your money is safe because your money is part with our custodian, meaning that you will actually directly, okay, uh, put your money into our custodian which actually is one of the biggest okay uh, longest also i say okay uh custodian and a clearing house in us okay it's number one okay so number two that okay you actually can using our uh, platform okay to buy stock easily you want okay just with a very simple interface okay and follow step by step all right okay this is uh, number two and the most important part here is especially for the southeast asia client because we are actually uh, not targeting uh, our american clients okay or european clients okay okay so because uh, uh our target is best in southeast asia okay? meaning that you actually will get a full support from us okay a lot of people will try to compare us with our uh, american broker okay i just let you know okay uh most of the american broker currently they don't take southeast asia clients okay one of the issue is because of the uh amla okay because uh, uh southeast asia except singapore is considered a uh, very high risk for them okay however okay if you with us we will actually give you a support and then your money is parked in wall street okay with custodians okay so basically custodians already in the business more than 20 years okay so safe, uh, in terms of the safety side okay you are very very sure that you will get 100 percent protections okay so the last point i want to straighten here is in m trade goal we want you to make money this is very very important okay we want you to make money this is why we come out this uh, series okay and you actually are using a platform which actually is created by a trader and an investor which is myself okay so we know whatever things uh those uh brokers in outside they, they 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 do okay okay we don't do that some some of them okay it's just like cfd this and that okay we don't do that uh, kind of a uh, support uh, uh, kinky pinky stuff in the back end okay we don't do that at all because your order will directly route to us execution executed in us rather than go through many channels like in singapore or hong kong all right okay so this is very important secondly is the education part just like today where we give it to you okay if you are a trader okay we also will guide you how to trade options okay so 
for us education comes first trading investing comes second this is a uniqueness but for other broker i believe maybe they try to do that also but as i say already okay we they are not give you a full uh, attention or focus unlike in m trade goal okay we actually plan for you already okay step by step how to do it because in m trade we don't believe you can get which overnight one no such thing one okay okay so what we do what is all follow the rules okay regulations okay and if you do it step by step okay you can see the result in one year time you're willing to learn okay because we don't want to be like other broker is just want to earn your money we want you to make money at the same time we will not consider we are the lowest commission if you compare to the u.s broker again as i said stress here u.s broker don't give you a full support okay but in southeast asia and in malaysia our commission is very competitive okay and we will consider actually the lowest okay so if you want to know more about the fees okay we actually have a comparison we just uh, write an email to admin we will uh, email to you okay so again uh, i say okay uh, m trade goal is uniqueness is because we emphasize education we emphasize okay our clients we want you to make money okay and we want you to grow with us okay and of course your money is safe is because your money is part with our custodian in the us which actually already in the business more than 20 of years and they are listed and in malaysia context they are bigger than the largest bank in malaysia okay so this part you always assure that you don't have to worry okay doctor Alright guys, um, thanks for your time. Thank you for staying with us uh, up until this point. Okay, And uh, be sure to tune in. We have uh, more interesting um, stuff and uh, discussions and also pointers for you in our next coming video. Okay, now before we go off, all right, we have our links below here. All right, Just click on the link to get started to install your m Go app. You can get started today. All the instructions will be inside the app just follow the instructions the guideline and uh, everything would, would be uh, like just like abc okay and for those of you who have questions okay um, we would have our email listed here below you can write into admin at mtradego.com or support at mtradego.com okay we will put the links here below our video for the simplicity of getting in touch and also communicating with us any questions, any inquiries, um, anything, anything that you would like to ask or suggest, just write in to us, okay? But also in the meantime, just click on the link to get started, um, install our M3 Go app, have a look at it, okay? And uh, we would come up, we would have the step-by-step -step and the instructional guide for you to follow. Easy as ABC, alright? So then again, thanks again uh, everyone for, for your time. And basically, with M Trade Go, everyone can trade. We'll see you soon. Yeah, thanks. Okay.